What's up y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna be talking about my favorite models you can run in Diffusion B, which basically runs Stable Diffusion locally on your computer. Uh, before it was only for Mac, I believe now it's also for PC. Uh, I know they had uh, different like uh, beta versions they were running for a while there, so it may have changed by now. Everything changes so fast and a lot of really fun changes have come along. Um, if you have not already checked it out, you go to GitHub and Diffusion B and they post the latest models. It'll be under the releases here. And uh, yeah, the developers have been working really hard to make it super simple. It's literally a one click install to get it to run on your computer. You don't have to do any Python or anything like that. It just runs, so that's cool. Uh, this, just a disclaimer, as it stands currently, some models do not run on Diffusion B. So not every model works, but most of them do. So I'm gonna be running these same prompts on uh diffusion b but just changing you know the the trigger word to get the model to function and the other important part is to choose your custom model so once you have it loaded you're gonna go and select your custom model like you see it kind of collecting <laughs> models now oh my god that's adorable i love it <laughs> that's amazing yo oh my god it's done <laughs> i love these mid journey style model the eyes look a little wonky but it's okay you can kind of get a feel for what the look is for this changing my model to comic diffusion use the at least two of the trigger words here and we'll see what this thing can actually create here did create our first image and this is the problem that i come across with this comic book one is you have to be really specific on what you're looking for because this not quite what i was asking for oh hell no the second one Definitely a lot more aligned with what I was asking. Um, it gave me two dogs. None of these dogs look like huskies to me. <laughs> Maybe the well, it could be like a hybrid of a few different dogs. But yeah, that doesn't look like a husky to me at all. But it gave me a dog with a Christmas hat. It gave me two dogs. Um, so this is cute. Not really what I asked for exactly, but close. Um, I still think this would be usable, if not as a starting point, as a very good reference to one. And yeah, so let's skip on over to our number, what are we on? Next up on our list, we're gonna use this arcane style, which became very popular in a very short time period. So I'm gonna select the trigger word, hop back over into Diffusion B, change my model to arcane, and then add this at the beginning, boom. And then I don't need the word comic book in here. Add a few of those words at the very end here and just hit go and we'll see what this looks like. So make sure I have everything arcane, boom, boom, boom. All right. So, okay. <laughs> uh, arcane is kind of infamous for the, like the eyes and like oh sharp lines. Oh my God, who the hell cares? Okay, so our arcane version is complete. Oh my god, these are adorable. <laughs> right, all the, the big eyes. Oh, look at that doggy. All right, well, I don't know what happened to the little Santa hat, but you know, it's not, not the worst that I've seen. We're gonna wrap this up with the classic animation diffusion style. So I love this one. We're gonna see what it can do. So I'm gonna go back and make sure I copy the trigger word, make sure our models change to the correct one. Classic animation, and our trigger word at the very beginning. Boom, I'll just copy all these over. I'm gonna get rid of the anime part of this thing. Okay, so now I have the trigger word at the beginning, classic Disney style, um, and I'm also adding that towards the end. I don't know if that's overkill, but we'll see. So have all of our settings the exact same and pressing generate. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I can't say that this is what I expected it to look like, um, but it's interesting. Yo, I don't know what's happening with this face. <laughs> it's not... Okay, well, sometimes it's hit or miss. They can't all be winners. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna run this one more time and see what happens. Okay, so on the second run, we definitely got a little closer with the second image. So I'm not even mad at this one. This, I think this is a really good starting. <laughs> but yeah, so I think if we ran this 
you know, I think it's upwards of 100 images. We could probably find something that's really useful, but that was the modern art style, the classic Disney style. So we did the ink punk, the mid journey, the comic diffusion, arcane, and now this is the classic Disney. As a bonus, I'm gonna do one more and see what that looks like. I'm gonna try the redshift model here, uh, which you can again get off of civet.ai or other places. All right, so our redshift style extra bonus model has finally loaded and wow. That's super cute. <laughs> All right, y'all. I honestly am torn because there's so many really cool styles, but if I had a pick, it'd be between the classic Disney and the arc, not the arcane, sorry, the, um, the ink punk diffusion. Like this thing is just amazing. Like for me, this kind of matches more of the style that I love a lot more, even though you have more like 3d render looking kind of stuff, more realism looking kind of stuff in mid journey. Um, the comic diffusion, there's a few variations out there. And I can see this utilized for people who are like, you know, amazingly, you know, talented writers who may not have the artistic skills that want to make their own comic books, which people have already done, but like this just makes it so much more easier for them to kind of create that content. And it's just a really fun tool. So long story short, what's your favorite model? And I, you know, don't be afraid of this technology. It's something that's here. It's just teaching people how to use it and growing with it. Anyway, y'all, hopefully this was somewhat entertaining and you got something from this video. Again, all the links for the stuff that I have are gonna be down below, whether it's the, um, where to find the models, where to download the actual application itself, all that stuff's gonna be below. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I will talk to y'all soon. All right, y'all have a wonderful day.